So this is the IMX 53 reference design. Yeah, so currently um, we're launching this at CES. It'll be widely available in the market in uh, late February, early March. Uh, so this is a reference design, so it's not an end product. As you can see, it has a debug port, uh, some ports, which obviously increase the overall thickness. This is about 19 millimeters. This is really designed not as an end product, but to help our customers to get to market as quick as possible. So, you know, from a board perspective, from a base OS perspective, it's, this is running Android 2.2, it's all ready to go. Uh, you know, we've already loaded um, uh, a number of clips, we, we, we have partnerships with some, um, with some app developers in, in terms of games that we've loaded. But really it's to say, you know, if you're looking to develop a, a tablet, this will get you 80% of the way there. Now, obviously, most people are going to want to customize the UI of Android. They're going to want to have a specific UI design to differentiate their product. But what we're trying to do is to say, you know, in terms of tablet development and tablet time to market, 80% of it is software. Uh, we're giving you a product where the hardware and is, is tied very closely to the software. You have hardware acceleration within the software itself. So a lot of the groundwork has already been done for the customer, and they can take this product and hopefully get to market as quick as possible. So uh, from 51 to 53, uh, the main upgrades are, is there a faster I.O. going on or some faster, more RAM, better RAM? Or? Yeah, so you know, the L2 cache goes from one to, um, 128 to 256. Uh, you know, the in, in terms of the core frequency goes up to one gigahertz. In in terms of the memory bus goes up to four hundred megahertz. So you're looking at in terms of overall uh, web browsing experience, you're looking to a thirty forty percent improvement. In terms of graphics, uh, this has a unique two D and three D graphics engine. So in terms of graphics performance, you're looking at about a forty to fifty percent improvement in overall graphics because we can offload. Uh, if it's a 2D graphics, you don't have to run the 3D graphics engine, uh, and you can offload in that way. Also, with all of that improvement, we haven't improved, we haven't increased the power draw. So all of that improvement is going on at the same power level or reduced power level. So in terms of, you know, the power performance, that stayed the same as if it's not improved as we've improved the overall performance of the product itself. Do you announce the number of millions of triangles or the? Yeah, 200 million triangles per second. 200 million. Yeah. So that's like a PlayStation 3 or something. Yeah. Uh, and the video resolution is improved or bit rates? And yeah, so uh, this will do um, 1080p decode at 30 frames per second and 720p encode at 30 frames per second. All right. So really, you know, this is the 53. Remember, this is a single core. Yeah. Um, one gigahertz processor. We have announced the next generation, which is the 6X. So really, in terms of tablets, if you want a tablet to do usage models very similar to other PC-like devices. You know, within this year, you're going to be able to buy tablets which are able to probably meet the needs um, and, and wants of almost anything that's in the market today. At the 1080p playback, is there a bitrate limitation or high-profile limitations or something you can say about? Uh, there is. I'd have to go back and refer to okay. that off the top of my head. I can't Thanks. remember.